Hey everybody and welcome to an introduction to my game Puzzle Sweeper coming to iOS, Android, PC and Mac uh, sometime in the middle of June. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to give you a quick walkthrough of the game. Uh, we'll show you how it's played and what it's all about. So we'll just click let's play and get started. The game uh, comes in three different difficulty levels, um, easy, normal and expert. Uh, the main difference between the three of them are the board sizes and the number of objects on the board. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to go with the easy difficulty, uh, so we'll just get it started now. Uh, this is basically how um, a game of Puzzle Sweeper starts. The, um, you can see the grid at the bottom is made up of a number of different rooms, and you can see at the top we have um, four different icons, uh, a, a trap or a bomb icon, uh, a key, a chest, and uh, an exit door. Uh, the object of the game is to find all of those objects in the rooms below, uh, disarm all the traps, find the keys, open the chest, and open the exit door. Um, if anybody out there has played Minesweeper, um, the gameplay is a little bit similar to that. Um, so we'll get going. Um, you can see the, uh, the first room is always open for you and is always empty. You can see that green room around there. Um, if it's green, it means it contains uh, none of the, uh, the icon objects in any of its eight surrounding squares. So we know we can open any of those rooms and they'll be empty and they won't cause us any harm. So we'll um, get those rooms open to start off with. You can see that it's, um, it, it opens up uh, similar to Minesweeper. It'll open up any other empty rooms around it until it hits one with an object. So we know that that one's also empty. And now you can see um, it's opened up um, some rooms with some numbers and some colours on them. Um, those colours will head back to the icons at the top and the numbers show the amount of that object in the um, eight surrounding rooms in the grid. Um, I see it, our object is to um, find all the traps and disarm them, find the keys, open the chest and finally escape through the exit. Um, I'm going to start off with a couple of obvious ones there. We can see that um, room in uh, almost the middle with an empty, it only has one unopened room around it and it has a one in the um, in the trap section of it. So we're going to hold down our finger on that and open up the trap, disarm the trap. There we go, if we were just to um, to click that without disarming the trap, uh, we would set off the trap and we would lose one of the two lives you can see in the top left hand corner. Um, open up another um, couple of easy ones. You can see that one just to the left of that one also only has one open square left in its grid and it's got a one in the one in the bomb side um, section so we also know that that one is a trap. We also know the one to the bottom left is a trap for the same reason. And now we can go around that and just open up some of the empty rooms. And I can see that one, it's opened up there also, it only has one room left, so we know that, that one's a trap. And then, because they only have ones in them, we can also open up the rest of those rooms. Around it. And so we've got one there that has um, a yellow number. And uh, so we know that that square there contains a key. As I said earlier on, the keys are used to open the chests and to open the exit. So we'll click on that to collect a key. Now the keys will remain uh, visible on the square until they're used to either open up a chest or to open up the exit door. Um, just continue to open a few more of these obvious ones here. And can see we've got one down there that is the um, it has an orange number um, so we know that that's where the dungeon exit is if um, now we've got a key so we can't open the uh, the exit dungeon if you try to open the exit door without uh, without a key in it it will also cost you one of your lives so we'll open up that uh, room there just by clicking on it and that appears as a set of stairs as we've opened the door and the exits available if we uh, want to get out of the dungeon or we uh, finish it, we'll need to click on that square again to um, finally escape. So we're just going to carry on and try and open up some more of these squares. Uh, you can see that one's got nothing. Uh, you can 
see that's got a one in it and that's got a one in it, so we can tell we'll disarm the trap there. Found the other key. So we'll just keep going. As I say, the game uh, play is uh, similar to Minesweeper. Obviously, you have um, four different objects to look out for, so it is uh, it is a lot more complicated. Um, just keep opening some of these rooms up here. So that one is a trap. Uh, can also tell, we can also tell this one's a trap as well. But I'm just going to show you what happens if you uh, mistakenly click on a uh, if you. Uh, click on a trap square without trying to disarm it. Oh, you can see there the uh, chicks, we've lost a life and uh, we've got a bomb on the screen. Uh, that will um, hurt the score that we get at the end of the game. So we're basically now looking for from that one. Clicked on the wrong square. That's mistakenly opened the opened the uh, the chest. Uh, you can see that's uh, because we had a key on the board. Uh, it's opened up the chest, and it appears as a gold bar. Um, now we've got four squares left. Um, so that one's got a two in it. We know that that one's a trap. Um, it's also got a two around it, so we know that that one's a trap. And one. That one's a two. That's a two, and we also know that that one's a trap at the end there. So that is basically how you complete a puzzle sweeper board. Um, we're going to click on the exit to escape. Uh, all the tiles go away, and we should get um, we should get the level complete sign. The, um, the score there is not quite accurate. That was a hundred percent game. Um, the game isn't quite finished yet, but um, if you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to check more out, if you want to visit some of the links um, at the end, that would be great. If you follow us on IndieDB or SlideDB, that would also be great. And um, I hope some of you check out the game when it's released. Thanks very much.